how many people we got for MVP? Because I feel like after every game, someone else is now in the MVP conversation. I mean, shit, Chuck might be out here ready to say Jordan Clarkson should be an MVP candidate. But Dame has been going nuts, especially with CJ McCollum being out. So Dame is in the MVP conversation. You always have the ever-present LeBron James for MVP narrative. That's always there. The Blue Check boys have quieted down about Luka, but that was the prevailing thought coming into the season. And even Luka has tried to, like, hush the MVP talk. Like, yo, dog, I'm not I'm not MVP. Like, don't don't put me in those conversations. So at least we'll give Luka some, some dap for some self-awareness. And then you have Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid is finally fulfilling the promise of what we have been waiting for for seemingly seven years. He has finally put it all together and has remained healthy throughout one of the most weird, weirdly scheduled seasons we've seen in quite some time. But who else should be in this mix? Kevin Durant has been in this mix. KD, you know, earlier in the season, I had him at 85, then I issued up to 90. I'm not ready to say he's 100%. I don't think he could be 100% like compared to where he was. Like, God damn, it's more than 90. <laughs> it's more than 90. I don't want to say 95. I don't know if he would even say 95. I mean, he might have the confidence to say he's better now than he was before. He might be on that type of time. But he's definitely at least 90, 90 plus. Well, you know what? Stand on it. We'll go 95%. Kevin Durant is 95% back. He's an MVP candidate. So now we got, how many people is that? So we got... We got the Slim Reaper. We got Embiid. We have LeBron. We have Dame now. So that's four. I don't know if y'all have noticed, the Bucks have lost five games in a row. They've lost five games in a row, and nobody's saying nothing. Nada. I've heard nothing about it. They lost a home and home to the Raptors. They lost to OKC. They lost to Phoenix. They lost to the Jazz. The Bucks are out here tricking off games. But Giannis is Giannis. The Nigerian freak is a Nigerian freak. He's still probably going to be in a conversation because of the numbers. So that's five guys. Who else is in this mystical, magical, seemingly being updated nightly, MVP conversation. Steph has clawed his way back into it. He's dropping what? He's dropping 30 a night, right? 30 a night, Steph is out here dropping. Now, the Warriors, I mean, they're not a contender. But they've played better than we thought they would. Especially with Weissman not really being in the rotation like we thought he was, or at least certainly not as much as he was earlier in the season. So Steph has gone to some MVP conversation. So now that's six guys. Are we going to be out here and let the Utah Jazz have the best record in the league and not have an MVP candidate? Is Donovan Mitchell in that mix? So it's basically like everybody in a mama is in the mix for MVP. Because if I throw Donovan Mitchell in there, that's seven guys. And I'm sure somebody's going to hit me up and say, yo, you forgot so-and-so. 